Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Victus or Victus laptop. This is a 16-D0507 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and clean up the fan system and clean up the heatsink, even how to repaste. You should be doing your own repaste every year, year and a half at least, depending the usage that you give you using it really often like five to six hours ten hours and if you're doing renders playing games and stuff like that you won't want to do it every 12 months all depends the how how hard are you using the uh, laptop by doing the repaste you're not going to change anything on the laptop or any configuration anything like that everything's going to be the same i'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to do the service first thing first you want to power off the laptop you want to flip it upside down you want to work in a really clean table so you're gonna flip it upside down you're gonna go over the tools that i'll be using tool number one and very important one is a screwdriver set a really good screwdriver it's a really must for servicing i use the ifixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there these are really tough and bits you are going to be using a phillips number zero if you get the pro set of this screwdriver set they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers and a few other stuff if not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers because of the soft, hard edges. You need a curved tweezers. A curved tweezers are really necessary handy. And you need an alcohol. 99% or 95% at least isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. This is very important. You need one sheet of the workshop towel. Do not get any microfiber uh, towels or anything like that because of workshop towels as soon as you put alcohol on top and you wipe over the capacitors and stuff like that the alcohol will blend these uh, fibers in here and it will rip apart before you're damaging the capacitors but if you use a microfiber in towels they can entangle between the capacitors and connectors and you can pull them and rip them apart so use that workshop towel and you need a thermal paste. Depending on what kind of thermal paste you want to use, they're all valid. And you can test that out and see which one is good for you. Uh, I'm going to be using an Arctic MX4 because of my clients. You can use this one, it's really good. Or you can go with a Noctua brand, Noctua NTH1. These are really good. But if you want to go over the board and the best, go with the Thermal Grizzly, uh, Thermal Grizzly Extreme. These are one of the the best nothing can beat this one at least the only thing that beats this one it's the liquid metal of the thermal grizzly all right so for today's video we're going to be using arctic mx4 i'll leave the link for all of them so if you want to purchase whichever you want now we're going to remove a whole bunch of screws down here we're going to remove four screws in the front row of the laptop and four screws at the back row all right go ahead and remove them and keep them in one pile as all the screws are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them also if you guys find my videos helpful and, and helping you guys out you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe i greatly appreciate it it helps and motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment area i appreciate that all right once we remove all the screws what you want to do you want to grab yourself the opening tool the guitar pick in this case and we're going to start from one corner of the laptop on the bottom you want to stick the guitar pick right in there about two or three millimeters inward and all you want to do you just want to twist it backward and you want to hit that big click sound you want to hear those and you're going to see the bottom color coming up you want to do this every couple of centimeters okay and then you want to just peel it off you want to hear those nice click sounds you want to do this left and right side I'm not just taking the whole guitar pick, only about two or three millimeters. Going to the back corners, right there. And I'm gonna do the left side too. All right, once you do the front, the side, the back end, it's really simple. All you need to do is to put it right there between the bottom cover right in there. And then you just wanna twist it. And again, you're gonna hit those big flex sounds. That's normal. Once you did that, now you want to put it down. You want to grab it from the corner. 
bring it all the way here and then you want to yank it up and then you're going to hear a big pop those are the clips that are in here one two three those clips that are hooked on the battery so you want to yank it up a little bit and it will release itself you can uh, again another good tool i forgot to mention is a used or new toothbrush and uh, with this one you can clean the mesh from inside out you can just nicely clean it up and don't use the air cans those are really bad they throw humidity use a dry compressor i'll leave the link for a good dry compressor that i use and it's pretty much unlimited air unlike the air can they don't have pressure enough and they just run out really quickly and expensive so one of the compressor is really good to have if you're going to constantly servicing your laptop all right down here my fans are really super clean this laptop is really clean i'm just using it as a demonstration for you guys so yours might be really super dirty so before we do anything we're going to disconnect the battery it's very important to disconnect the battery you want to put your two fingernails at the white jack right there on the corner right here and you want to pull it towards the battery evenly make sure you bring it down evenly like that and that's how you can disconnect it once you disconnect that now you can safely work on the laptop we're going to switch to a phillips number one and we're going to remove the three screws on the fan on the right fan and three screws on the left fan. Now we're gonna untangle this power cable. You can pull the power cable backward and you can untangle it. Now to remove the cables connected for the fan, I'm not gonna use my finger or pull the cables. It's not really recommended. I can put my finger in there. I actually could, but it's kind of big, but you can use that tweezers. Put the tweezer beside it and push it towards the fan and it will release the connect it without damaging the cable now you can lift up this fan let's see if i can pull it backward i can't you can't remove the fan without removing the heatsink so this covers the question that it, can i clean up the fan heatsink without removing the heatsink from the motherboard you, the answer is no because the you, i can't force it but i will uh, stress the tubing and i will bend the tubing which i don't want to do it so i'm going to leave it there you remove the two screw, three screws on the other fan. Now, again, remove the connector on this one. This fan does not come out neither because of the metal thing in there. They could have made it easy, but they didn't. I could force it, but then putting it back in is going to be a hassle. So I'm just going to leave it there. All right, now we're going to remove three screws for the CPU and four screws for the GPU. All right, these screws they have a little C lock on them, so you just pretty much twist until it just makes a click sound. Okay, once you hear like a few click sounds, you want to stop right there. Also, you want to remove the screws in the corners on the heatsink right there, and the one right at the corner. All right, once you remove those ones, you don't want to yank it grab it from here you want to grab it near to the cpu the plate and then you want to lift it up bring it up and there we go holy they do put a whole bunch of the thermal paste in here and they have a thermal putty on the component these are not a thermal paste around it this is called a thermal putty i'll leave the link for a good thermal putty you can swipe them and use them but this thermal putty is good is brand new so you don't need to redo this one but if yours is old you can just uh, reuse and redo the thermal party but in today's video we're just going to repaste so you want to grab your towel cut a little bit and spray with an alcohol now you're going to wipe the excess of the thermal paint grab it and wipe it off or if you get messy in there nothing's gonna happen it's not conductive just flip it inside out and do a second pass and there you go do a wipe on the gpu as long as you clean the die you don't have to go around it be nifty about it and cleaning every bit of the thermal paste around the cpu or gpu as long as you wipe on top the crystal die you're more than fine i'm going to use the same towel to wipe the 
excess of the thermal paste on the CPU, on the heatsink. There we go. You can use a new workshop towel, new part, and do a nice tiny swipe. Same thing in here. And there we go. Now you can take it outside. Yours might be full of dust and hair in here. This one has a little bit. And blow some air through from the back and through here and clean it up. Check the fans outside. Use a toothbrush and clean it, clean them up. And bring them back. Same thing in here. Just lift them up. Take it outside and clean it. Once you're finished, you're gonna put the thermal paste. To put the thermal paste, to put the thermal paste, all you want to do put a tiny line on the CPU right there and one drop right in the middle of the GPU right there. That's all you need. All right? Once you put that one in there, all you want to do, grab the heat sink, put this corner right there, bring it down evenly. Once you set it down, do not lift it up again. Leave it there. Now you can either follow the numbers. It says one, two, three, and four, five. Pretty much you want to cross and screw them. So it doesn't matter how you start, but you always cross and screw them. For the sake of the video, I'm going to try to follow the numbers. So cross and screw them. So cross and screwing helps and spread the thermal paste evenly across the GPU and CPU die. Okay, just double check, make sure all the screws are already tightened up. And there we go, put the two screws on the corner, one on this side and one on the other side. And the most important part that most people always forget is the fan connector. They get too excited to putting it together, they forget to push in the fan connector, push it in. Okay, there we go. Once you're done with that one, uh, let's go put the screws for the fan once for all. There we go. Now we're gonna tangle back down the cables for the power connector. And again, same thing as a battery, bring it in and squeeze it together and make sure it's nice and snug up there. Once you finish with all this, double check, make sure everything is in place nicely. You want to grab this battery connector and you want to make sure it goes inside the jack straight in evenly. Evenly comes out and evenly goes in like that. Make sure it doesn't go sideways in, otherwise you're in big trouble. All right. Once you have everything in, double check, grab the bottom cover. I'm gonna power on the laptop. And then you wanna put the sides in. Once you power on, you wanna squeeze the corners. Make sure you squeeze them in. You wanna hear those nice click sounds on the back row. And switch back to your Phillips number zero. And put the bottom screws. Right. Now that we put the screws in, if you see any gaps, openings like that, you just want to squeeze them and it will go back to its place. Now, there is no CMOS battery, that's why when we disconnect the battery, it's going to, once you power on, it's going to give you a tiny window, it says CMOS resetting, press enter. So wait for that message. There we go, CMOS check some reset to default, just press enter. It's going to take the five to six, seven seconds and it's going to boot up normally and you're gonna be in the windows with no problem so don't panic again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any questions or requests feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video